Welcome back, Jessica here. On my right hand, I have a Manny from back in January. I'll put that up in the cards for you. And today I'm going to get right into the colors. I'm using my Eye Gel Beauty. This one is DD172 Cozy Cashmere. It's a really nice light nude kind of color. Uh, Revel Nails Xena, which is that bright purple. And I will also be using Revel Nails On Point. Uh, this is from the Nutcracker Mystery Box that they have over the holiday season. I'll be using my eye gel liquids, and I'm going to get right into the dipping as soon as I get that bottle open. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to be doing today is a scrub, um, well not a scrub ombre, a tap ombre with the Cozy Cashmere and the Zeno, the purple color, and then I'll be doing, if you saw from the thumbnail picture, a little bit of extra um, glitter on uh, top of that, so we'll get to that at the end. But um, I have both of the jars open, so I'm just going to tap right over the jars, and I have my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brushes, which I really love for the ombres. They really, they're small and dense enough to really hold on to the powder. And then I like my fluffier e.l.f. Uh, blending eye brush for the glitters because they tend the brush is not quite as dense and it holds on to the glitters a little bit better. So I'm just doing my normal application of dip coat, uh, dip base to the whole entire nail. I'll try to zoom in a little bit uh, on this as well. But I'm starting with the purple and I'm just picking that up with the brush and lightly tapping that across the tip of my nail. So I'm going to do all three layers on my pinky nail first so you can see how I'm doing that with um, for all three layers. But again, I'm just tapping um, that powder onto the top part of my nail so that I have the two colors and they'll end up kind of looking like an ombre. So for the second coat or layer of dip powder, I'm actually, I'm going to again apply the, ba apply the base coat to the whole entire nail, but this time I'm going to alternate the colors and start with the Cozy Cashmere. And this, when you're doing a tap ombre, can help you get a little bit more of that blended kind of look between the two colors, especially when the two colors are uh, a bit more different in color. So I'm just tapping that up by my cuticle, and then I'm gonna do the same thing and go in with the purple. And then for the third layer, again, uh, the, bit, the base coat to the whole entire nail, and I'll be starting with the purple again. So each layer is alternated so that you get a little bit more of that blended look. And then you'll see that I rotate my fingernail as well while I'm tapping so I can make sure I get coverage across my whole uh, nail sidewall to sidewall. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the other nails. I'm going to do the same exact process on the other four nails, so every nail is going to look uh, the same. Uh, again, starting with the purple and then the cozy cashmere and alternating for each one of the layers. So I'm going to go ahead and let you watch, and I am speeding the rest of this up, but I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I lied. I'm back. <laughs> um, before I before I go and let you watch, I just wanted to. Uh, let you know how this Manny actually came about because it was it was kind of a funny story. 
But um, so as, as you know from some of my previous videos, my mother is visiting me from Connecticut right now. And one night I was just kind of looking through my swatches. Sometimes if I'm kind of in a little bit of a slump, I'll just kind of look at the, the swatches and kind of um, hold colors next to each other, just kind of see what I think looks good with each other. But um, I was just kind of messing around um, with her one night and I said, let's, um, let's blind pick. Uh, colors from the swatches so what I did was I held up uh, all of I have all of my swatches um, by color on different rings so I have like all of my reds on one ring all of my yellows and oranges on another and so on and so forth so I held out all of the rings to her while she had her eyes closed so that's the blind pick part and um, she picked three rings so then from those three rings, I held out the swatch side and um, had her pick one color from each one of the rings. So these are the colors that she picked. <laughs> so with those colors that she picked, I decided to try to create a Manny out of it. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. And actually, I did get a little bit of inspiration for this Manny from a Pinterest picture, and I will go ahead and um, pop that on the screen uh, for you as well so you can see where the inspiration is kind of um, coming from. It's not the same colors as what's in the picture, but the same idea as far as the blend between the two colors with the glitter um, over, top it, uh, over the top of it as well. So. Um, I did get some inspiration for this Manny from that as well. But uh, let me know what you think. Uh, and if you've ever done anything like that <laughs> before as far as picking out Manny's or even how you um, pick out Manny's when you're kind of uh, having like a Manny block or in a Manny kind of slump. Um, I I'm always looking for new, new ways to come up with ideas. But uh, in the meantime, I'll let you watch. Okay, so I kind of decided that I wanted the two colors to look a little bit more blended, so I'm just doing a little bit of a um, scrub type ombre on um, these. So I'm just doing that with the Cozy Cashmere, but I'm just trying to get the two colors to look a little bit more blended before I move on to the glitter.
All right, so on to the glitter. So in the jar, this looks um, much more pink than it's really going to look on my nails. And it's always a good idea to um, either shake up your jar um, with the glitter or uh, mix it a little bit like this just so you don't have all of the chunkier glitter pieces sitting right on top. It'll be a little bit more mixed and blended for you. Um, so as you saw in the picture, there was just kind of the glitter was just kind of across the middle of the nail. So I'm going to um, kind of um, get my inspiration a little bit here. So I'm just painting or applying the base coat right across my nail as you're seeing and doing the same kind of um, tap method to apply that onto the nail. So what I was noticing also though when I was doing this on my thumb nail is that it looked a little bit too uniform. Like it was a little bit too um, straight on, on I guess the brush stroke when I was applying it across my nail. So I'm just kind of going in and, and dotting a little bit of the base coat to make it a little bit less uniform so the glitter looks a little bit more staggered um, across that blended part of the ombre. But look at how iridescent that looks. It's so pretty, that one. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on all four. Uh, of my other nails as well and you'll notice when I move on to my other nails instead of just kind of swiping it straight across uh, my nail the base coat that is I'm gonna kind of um, brush it a little bit more and kind of um, dot it with the bristles of the, um, the brush a little bit more so it's not quite so uniform so I'm not I'm, I don't really want like a straight line of that glitter so you can see I'm kind of dotting it so it won't look so straight. So I'll go ahead and let you watch and uh, then we'll be finishing up. All right, and um, you can see that this, uh, the top of that little jar, this is clip clear dip powder, um, but it was labeled as glitter uh, clear. So I do have some separate um, containers for like uh, base coat and the clear powder and things like that that are designated solely for the glips, the glitter dips. And I did want to make sure that I capped these in clear because uh, once I activate and move on to the filing, I don't want any of that pretty glitter to um, 
to get removed. <laughs> so I did want to make sure that that was all protected before I move on to filing. And I did not include filing in um, this video, so I will include a video in the cards for you in the upper corner where I do show my whole filing and uh, filing routine for you. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm gonna move on to top coat. And I am using my dip powder top coat. So generally with the dip powder top coat after activating, filing and everything, um, you want to apply the first layer of the top coat in um, a, th a very thin kind of layer. And, um, and then you do apply a second top coat and you can be a little bit more um, precise and um, careful with the second layer uh, but you don't want to do any more generally than the two layers for the dip powder top coat but I have to say um, I mean look at how pretty that glitter looks with the top coat on it <laughs> it's gorgeous and I have to say this is one of um, this is probably my favorite Manny that I've done to date and it came from colors that <laughs> my mom picked out with her eyes closed <laughs> but um, I just I think that's hilarious <laughs> but I, I, I just I absolutely love how this one came out and the glitter on top of that is just subtle enough that it doesn't overpower the other two colors, but it also just makes the nanny, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my candy skincare, and this is a scent, it's cedar leather, that um, was from the uh, scent bar where she uh, has customized scents that you can ask for. So the website for her is, uh, for the candy skincare is listed in the description box below. I'll make sure that's listed for you. But um, please let me know uh, what you think of this Manny. And um, uh, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. And if you're not uh, subscribed to my channel yet, um, please consider it. Uh, I do get a lot of views from people that aren't uh, subscribed, so if you like what you see, um, please subscribe. But isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> like I said, this is my favorite to date. <laughs> so until next time, bye for now. <laughs>